So I want to make sure you're aware, we do a TLD live chat every Thursday night at 8.30 p.m. I'll put a link to it here. This is an opportunity for you as the consumer to join us and ask questions that we may not have covered within the review. We also have special guests that join us such as brand managers, product developers, and even CEOs. So come join us and get your voices heard. All right, on with the show. Hey everyone, Walsh here from Thin on Defense. And today we're gonna to be starting our plate carrier series. I don't know quite what happened, but somehow we ended up with like a million different plate carriers. And it's so interesting when you go through each one individually and kind of see how they work and the intricacies. We really wanted to share that with you. So in this first plate carrier series, we're gonna be reviewing the LA Police Gear Atlas plate carrier. Additionally, also, we have a discount code you can use down below, and I'll put a link down in the description if you're interested in purchasing this plate carrier. I also wanna say big thanks to LA Police Gear for providing us with this Atlas plate carrier so we can evaluate it for you so you know if it's any good. So tell you what, let's go look at the front, the rear, the cummerbund, and the actual shoulder straps and see how they all work and integrate together. And then we'll do a series of tests to kind of show the expandability and the adjustment of the plate carrier so you can determine if this is the right one for you. All right, let's get started and let's look at the front of that plate carrier. Here there's some molly that you can use to attach some of your communication equipment or if you hook in a cell phone there's some hook and loop here if you want to put in some patches too and there's an extra band that runs this way. And all the molly is laser cut and there's so many options to put in here that it's easy to connect up whatever you want to like this S-Tech mag pouch. But let's see the inside. Here you can see there's a small bit of padding that runs throughout the entirety of the plate carrier. There's not any velcro to connect some of like the pig pontoons or anything. And here you can see how you connect in the actual plate carrier. This flap actually connects into the front and how it secures down. And then to get to the actual plate carrier, you open this piece up and then you can actually put your plate carrier in there. There's no like retaining hooks or anything, but you can see that padding and how it flows through the entirety of the plate carrier. And you just close it up and then close this little flap back down. I don't know if that's gonna interfere with things later. All right, so now that we've seen the front of the Atlas plate carrier, let's take a look at the rear panel. All right, take a look at the rear panel. So it has a cool little pull tab here. Oh, and it's Velcro down so it stays out of the way. I like that. And then similar to the front, you have the Molly segments that are here so you can connect whatever you want, but then it also has the loop on the top if you wanna add the patches. So it just adds a lot of versatility. This is super smart. And then you have the laser cut all the way down so you can add anything you want. And here on the back, you could see it has that same padding throughout the entirety. Again, there's no place to attach anything, but that's all right, it has that nice padding already. And here's how you actually put in the actual plate. You just pull this off and then you can fit your plates in there. Again, there's no retainer hook or anything. It just connects in via the hook and loop, but you can see how it's padded on this part too. All right, now let me show you the cummerbund design so you can see all the features that are integrated within it. So this cummerbund actually comes with two options. It has this minimalistic style that actually can just be removed or you can leave it in place, whatever you prefer. So if you wanna have more of a minimalistic style, you can just connect with these clips and not even have to worry about a cummerbund at all and you can just connect it this way, which is an awesome option. But then if you don't wanna use that, you can just remove this entirely also and use the full cummerbund and it has all the this laser cut molly and then it has the normal hook and loop that you would use to connect into the front of the plate carrier. Just lift this up and then you can expose the hook and loop on either side and you can just connect it in so you can size it up and then it fits perfectly. When you remove it you just pull it off like normal and again we got the laser cut I think it's one two three four five different molly segments so there's plenty to connect everything. Oh and on the inside you even have a six by six plate pouch and you just open it with this bottom pull tab here. And here's how you put all your plates in. And there's even a spot on the bottom or a drain hole just so that there's no water collecting in there and filling up. That's just pretty smart. And then on the back here, if you're curious, it actually connects through the center and then it connects to the two pieces of the cummerbund. Here, I'll pull it out here. So it's just braided together and there's plenty of a extra in order to make it wider and then just pull it back through and just shuffle it in. And then it's just reset back in place. All right, now onto the last bit that makes or breaks every plate carrier. Let's look at those shoulder straps. All right, so the shoulder straps have a clip in here and it actually has its own shoulder pad. I think it's amazing it comes with its own shoulder pad. Look how nice that is. I can't wait to see how that feels. And it's about two inches thick, so it will help distribute the body weight better. 
So you can just remove these clips if you want to adjust it. That's pretty cool. So then these clips, you just pull out the extra here from the back and you can easily adjust it by moving it up and down the clip and then just reconnect it. That's really smart. I like having that clip there. I don't know if I'd use it as a QD. I'm a little bit concerned it may mess with our cheek weld, but we'll see when we test that. All right, so now you've seen all the features of the Atlas plate carrier, let's go ahead and test it. So the first thing I wanna see is how easy it is or difficult to actually adjust it to size it to you. So let's do that first. All right, so in order to adjust, as we said, all we need to do is remove this, pull the extra slack out, and once the slack is removed, we can just adjust the size of the clip either to be smaller or we can make it larger. And then we can just clip the whole thing back into place. And then we can just take any of that extra fabric and just feed it back through the actual shoulder strap so it stays secured. And then you can see it's secure and the shoulder strap actually moves around so it stays in position when the plate carrier is bouncing around. And to move the cummerbund around, like we said before, it's pretty easy. Just pull it out from the side so you have access to the braiding and then you can open it up and adjust it and just pull it back into place. It's really pretty simple. I'll just keep it from getting all jammed up, but then it's good to go once you have it all set. Well, it definitely seemed pretty simple to adjust them. Let's see what size plates fit in there. I have a set of LA Police Gear level four plates. I'll put a link to these down in the description also. These are your basic 10 by 12 level four plates. So we're gonna use that for the evaluation testing. So let's see how well these 10 by 12s fit in here. Just need to open up the main area and that gives us access to the actual spot to put the plates in. I'm gonna go ahead and slide in these 10 by 12s. Everything fits really nicely. Oh, looks like I need to put it in just a little bit further so I can just shove it in a little more. There we go. Okay, so you can see how the 10 by 12 fits about perfectly. I don't know if there's much room for any plates that are any bigger or smaller really, but it fits those 10 by 12s just perfectly. That's amazing. All right, so then you can see it's fitting all the way up to the top too, so fully filling that plate carrier. Let me just close it up and then we can close that front flap. Now let's test and see if everything fits the same on the back pouch of the plate carrier. So to get to that, we just want to open up the plate pouch and we get access to that. And we can see here, that's where we want to put in our plate. Slide everything in and that 10 by 12, just like in the front, fits absolutely perfectly. It completely fills the cavity. There's nothing loose or flopping around. And as you can see here, it just comes right to the edge. So the 10 by 12 is definitely what you want for this plate carrier. Then you can just close it all up and that Velcro holds crazy tight. So you don't have to worry about it falling out. And there you go. All right, so it fits those 10 by 12 plates without any sort of issue. But let's see what the full adjustment range, like how big and how small of a person you can you fit into it. It did fit me without any issues, but I did take out the shoulder strap pad because I like to have the rear plate a little higher. What's very interesting also is with the amount of adjustment this plate carrier has, it also easily adjusts down to the size of a woman from the size of a full-size man. So it gives you a lot of adjustment and versatility in this plate carrier. All right, now we'll go over all the different color options that are offered on the LA Police Gear Atlas plate carrier. So to show you a couple colors the Atlas comes in, it comes in black, which is a favorite for everyone, brown for those of us, we got the brown one, it's fantastic, gray, which I think would look really cool in a gray man. Multicam, I really love the multicam. I need to get that. And then the Ranger Green for those crazy army folks out there. All right, for this next test, we're gonna look over the plate carrier and see what it has in terms of expansion. Like if it can hold a front plate placard or if it can have expandable backpack or whatever else it can have. So taking a look at the rear of the plate carrier first, there's no zipper on either side. So there's no real expandability, but it is a full molly panel. So let's take a look at the front though and see what kind of expandability there is here. Now again, there's no real expandability here. There's no place for a front plate placard, but we could easily add something with the axle front plate placard adapter. So let me show you how this works. Basically what it is, it takes two pieces and it just puts these here at the top so that you can clip everything in. Then it has a Velcro panel that you can add and ta-da, I got everything installed. So these clips can be installed in two different positions and they hold really sturdy. But the clips can be put up high or if you have a smaller placard, you can put it down at the low connection so that you can fit everything correctly. So I can show you here, what we'll use is the Haley DC3RM Micro that I've showed you a few times. In order to connect this up, just line up the clips. So just connect it in here and then connect it in here and then just connect it into the Velcro and you can see it stays right on there and it's super sturdy, not gonna go anywhere. At the same time too, you can use a different type of front plate placard. Let's say you just had a regular mag pouch. You can just connect that in from the top and then just like that, you've changed your entire plate carrier mission set in two seconds. 
So let me show you how easy or hard it is to don the LA Police Gear Atlas Plate Carrier. Donning the plate carrier is really easy. Just put it on like you would any other. Expose the hook and loop on the front of the plate carrier. Connect everything in so it's not like choking you or anything. Just make sure to line it up. Get it in on both sides. And then you need to take the front tab and slide it underneath you and then connect it into the Velcro on the bottom so it's not just dangling around. And then to, in order to remove it, all you gotta do is reach underneath, grab the tab so it pulls it under. And it serves as an easy way to remove the front panel. And then you can just take the whole thing off. Now if you had it set up in the minimalistic style, you can just put it on. I usually just keep one clipped. And then I can just clip on the other side if I can reach behind myself. And just clip that one side on, then you can adjust it so it fits you. So this one's a little bit controversial on the team, but I'm always interested in how the plate care interferes with the rifle when I go up and try to get a good cheek weld. Sometimes it'll really mess with you. So this test is gonna be how the rifle interacts with the plate care and see if you can still get a good cheek weld. I found during this test that my cheek weld wasn't impeded at all. I like to kind of hook the stock into the actual plate carrier to lock it in place. I did find that the actual shoulder strap itself could kind of get in the way, like if you weren't paying attention to what you were doing. But if you kind of tucked it into the plate carrier, you can get a really good position. All right, and then for our final plate carrier test, before I give you my pros, cons, and we rack and stack it, is the prone comfort test. So we're gonna test it in prone and see if there's anything that pokes or jabs you or if there's anything weird happening once you're laying on it. Going prone, this plate carrier had no issues. I know I don't have a front plate placard on it or anything, but I just wanna see how it felt. Nothing was pinching or binding, and it was extremely comfortable. I didn't have any issues whatsoever. I had full maneuverability. I didn't have any problems moving my arms around or my body getting stuck on anything. All right, so I found it to be super comfy when I was in the prone position, but let's go into the pros, cons, and do I recommend it? So for the first pro, let's start with the obvious one, which is the price. The price of this whole plate carrier fully put together with all the pieces that you need. Now, mind you, it comes all together, which can be a rarity nowadays is under a hundred dollars. That's almost the same price as just a cummerbund for some other plate carriers. So for what you get, this is absolutely awesome. So my next big pro is it seems like they just put everything together in a smart way. Like I said, you get it all already assembled. You don't have to order a bunch of random bits, but it comes with the shoulder pads that you need. It comes with the cummerbund and the front and the rear. So you have everything already put together and it's put together very smartly so you can adjust it and you can even have pockets for side plates if you wanna do that. It's just very well designed, particularly at this price point. Uh, the other massive pro, it's available, which is huge, and it has a lot of really good color options for a cheap price. All those things make it extremely worthwhile and make a very huge pro. Uh, okay, so I do have a couple cons though. Uh, the first con, I don't like that little front flap. I find that once I tighten everything up, it's really a pain to lift the plate carrier to connect it up and it ends up with some fabric that's just bunched underneath. It's not a huge deal, but it's just not ideal. If I was really using it out in the field, I would probably just leave that bit dangling so I don't have to deal with it. Or I just cut it off. <laughs> now the other con I'm gonna ding them on is the expansion. Nowadays, everyone likes to use those front plate placards now. You can use the actual expansion like we talked about to use those front plate placards. And with the price of that and the plate carrier, you're still at a very respectable price. And then you have an interface for a front plate placard and an extremely well put together plate carrier. But I do wish they did some of that, had it kind of integrated in. I think they could do that very easily. And then just adding the zippers on the back seems like it's very simple, but then it just gives the member that much more expandability for whatever mission set they wanna do and takes your plate carrier from a certain set and expands that mission set wildly. So then, do I recommend this plate carrier? I really do. What's interesting is this is a great plate carrier for most people because most people don't know what plate carrier they want. Those people that have plate carriers and have messed with plate carriers kind of have their own style and they know what they prefer. If it's one with a very large shoulder strap or they're like a minimalistic setup, they know what they want. But 99% of consumers have never put on a plate carrier and they don't know what they want. So this is a great option because it's done so well. There's nothing really done bad. There's nothing done poorly and it's at a cheap price. So you can easily get into a plate carrier and some really nice LA police gear at level four plates for not much money. But this is just a great 
plate carrier for most consumers, and it's even great for duty use. I don't see anything that would prevent this from being used in duty, and I would have no problem using it myself. All right, so for the last thing we're gonna do, we're actually gonna rack and stack. We have so many plate carriers. We're gonna rack and stack them for you based on our preference, but we've only gotten one done so far. So congratulations, Atlas Plate Carrier from LA Police Gear. You are in the number one position of one. As we do more plate carriers, we're gonna rack and stack them so you can kind of see what we like and why we like it and where we kind of put them in terms of our ranking. All right, everybody. I hope you learned a whole lot about the Atlas plate gear. And again, thanks to LA Police Gear for providing us with this so that we can show it off to you and you can kind of see some of the features for it. And I'll put our discount code down below and I'll put a link down in the description if you're interested in purchasing this LA Police Gear Atlas plate gear. Again though, thanks to our Patreon supporters. You guys are my favorite. I love doing cool stuff for you all. And thanks to everybody who likes, comments, and subscribes. Comment down below what you like about this plate gear. Oh, and don't forget, we also do a live chat every Thursday where you have the opportunity to ask more questions and LA Police Gear may even come out to that live chat. So check them out down below and tell me you want to be there so you can ask them some questions. All right, everybody, take care of yourself. Walsh out. We're going to be reviewing the LA Police Gear's Atlas Place 